Hello friends. In this video, we are going to solve a problem based on the measurement of capacitance using the sharing bridge. So let us start with our problem. So our problem is we are given a sheet of Bakelite 4.5 mm thick and this sheet is tested at 50 Hz frequency between the electrodes which are 0.12 mm in the diameter. Now the shearing bridge it employs a standard air capacitor C2 of 106 picofarad. A non-reactive resistance R4 of 1000 by pi ohms in parallel with a variable capacitor C4 and a non-reactive variable resistance R3 is also connected. Balance is obtained with C4 equals to 0 0.5 peak, uh, microfarad and R2 equals to 260 ohms. Now we have to calculate the capacitance, power factor and relative permittivity of the sheet. Now first of all we will draw the circuit for the shearing bridge and then we will derive the balance equations for it and then we are going to calculate the unknown variables that is the capacitance, power factor and relative permittivity. So let's try to solve this. So this is the circuit for the shearing bridge. Now uh, when the bridge is under the balance condition then Z1 is the impedance in the arm AB, Z3 is the impedance in BC, Z2 is the impedance in AD arm and Z4 is the impedance in CD arm. So under balance condition we know that the general balance equation for an alternating current bridge is Z1, Z4 equals to Z2, Z3. Now first of all we will write the impedances in the various sums that what is their value. So Z1 is equals to the series combination of the capacitor and the resistance. So it will be R1 plus 1 upon J omega C1. Then Z2 it is the capacitor 1 upon J omega C2. Here this is the C2 sorry Z2 then Z3 is the resistance R3 so Z3 is equals to R3 and Z4 is equals to the parallel combination of R4 and the C4 so it will be R4 upon 1 plus J omega C4 R4 so we have got the value of all the four impedances now we are going to put their value in this uh, general balance equation so z1 is this multiplied with z4 z2 is 1 upon j omega c2 multiplied with r3 so when we solve this we will get R4 multiplied with this and 1 plus J omega C4 R4 it will go to the right hand side. So we will get R1 plus 1 upon J omega C1 multiplied with R4 equals to R3 upon J omega C2 multiplied with 1 plus J omega C4 R4. So when we multiply the R4 inside the bracket and this term inside this bracket, we will get R1, R4 plus R4 upon J omega C1 equals to R3 upon J omega C2 plus when these are multiplied J omega, J omega, this will be cancelled and we are left with C4, R4, R3 upon C2. So in these equations we are having the real parts also and the imaginary parts also. So when we will equate the real part we will get the value of R1 as C4 upon C2 and then R3. R4 and R4 will be cancelled out. 
So we are left with R3. And when we equate the imaginary parts, J omega, J omega, it will be cancelled. We will get the value of C1 as R4 upon R3 multiplied with C2. Okay. So we have just derived these equations for the value of R1 and C1. Now we can get their values by just sub, uh, putting the values of these known variables which is given to us in the question. Now in the question we are given that uh, if we calculate R1, we are given C4 as 0 0.5 microfarad. So putting the value of C4 there, R4 is also given to us. So C4 is 0 0.5 microfarad. So we have to multiply it with 10 raised to the power minus 6. Divided by C2, C2 is given 106 picofarad. So it will be 106 picofarad. So multiply it with 10 raised to the power minus 12. Then multiply it with R3. R3 is given to us uh, as a non-reactive variable resistance R3 and its value is 260. So R1 is equals to 1.23 into 10 raised to the power 6 ohms. Now C1. C1 can be calculated by putting the value of R4 and R3. R4 is given as 1000 by pi. So here 1000 divided by pi into R3 and here C2. C2 was 106 picofarad and R3 is again 260 ohms. So we will get the value of the capacitance as 130 picofarad. So we can directly use the equations for the shearing bridge also and uh, we can derive them in the question itself while solving the numerical. Now uh, we have to find out the relative permittivity and the power factor. So we know that the capacitance, its formula is epsilon r, epsilon naught a by d. Now here capacitance is equals to the relative permittivity multiplied with the permittivity of the free space and uh, A is the area and D is the length or the diameter. So here if we calculate uh, the relative permittivity it will be C1 D upon epsilon naught A. Now value of C1 we have already calculated 130 picofarad so 130 picofarad so multiply it with 10 raised to the power minus 12. Now diameter that is we are given in the question that uh, the sheet is 4.5 mm thick and uh, we are having the diameter as 0 0.12 mm. So here we will put the value of the diameter that is the thickness means D is the thickness of the sheet that is uh, how much apart they are from each other. So 4.5 mm is there so multiply it with 10 raised to the power minus 3. Then epsilon naught the value of permittivity of free space is 8.84 into 10 raised to the power minus 12 farads per meter. So here we will put its value 8.84 into 10 raised to the power minus 12. Then area. So area will be um, pi by 4 into the radius square. So here pi by 4 into radius means radius is given to us or we can say diameter is given to us as 0 0.12 mm. So here because pi r square is the area so uh, diameter is given to us so in the terms of diameter it will be pi d square by 4. So pi d square is diameter square is 0 0.12 square and 4. Okay so area 
is pi r square or we can say radius is what 2d square okay so it will become uh, the pi by 4 into the diameter square so epsilon r the relative permittivity when we calculate this we will get the formula uh, we will get the value as 5.9 okay so in the question we were asked that we have to find out the capacitance which we have already calculated c1 we have to calculate the relative permittivity and also we have to calculate the power factor so power factor is equals to omega c1 r1 power factor or we can say the dissipation factor so its formula is omega c1 r1 now omega is what 2 pi f into c1 value we have already calculated 130 picofarad and small r1 its value also we have calculated 1.23 into 10 raised to the power 6 now frequency is given to us in the question we are given that the sheet is tested at 50 hertz of frequency so here we will put its value 2 pi into f is 50 into 130 into 10 raised to the power minus 12 into 1.23 into 10 raised to the power 6 so power factor will come out to be 0.05 so here in the question we were given that a shearing bridge is used and for testing the properties of a sheet of bakelite uh, so for that sheet we have uh, calculated the capacitance power factor and relative permittivity using the balance equation z1 z4 equals to z2 z3 first we derive the uh, unknown variables the unknown impedances r1 and c1 then we calculated their values and and using those values we calculated power factor and relative permittivity so in this way all the problems which are based on the measurement of capacitance using the shearing bridge they can be solved so i hope that this problem is clear to you thank you